what's up? So listen, I have had my uh, cloth and paper February sub box for at least two weeks. Um, it came when I was on vacation and I couldn't wait to get home and open it and I just got so freaking busy that I haven't even opened the doggone thing. So I like to open it when I do the unboxing with you guys because I like to see it for the first time when you're seeing it for the first time. Uh, the only problem with that is it's what, the last week in February and so I know you guys have already seen somebody's unboxing of the February, the cloth and paper, February set box. But I want to place a cloth and paper order, but I want to see what's in here before I do it. So, you know, I didn't do my normal prep. I wasn't really ready to film this video today. You know, I normally put on my makeup and all that good stuff. This is this is Miko, guys. Fresh face and all. At least I got my hair did, okay? At least my hair is done. Um, but this is me just hanging out uh, at the house and me on a normal day okay so anyway let's just get right into this sub box i'm anxious to see what's in here and before we get started guys please do the needful and hit the subscribe button join the crew it's free it's like love love don't cost a thing subscribing to my channel don't cost a thing and i promise to give you a lot of great content this year so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into this sub box For those of you who have never heard of Cloth and Paper, it is a black-owned, woman-owned luxury planner and stationery company. They have very clean lines and a very simple aesthetic. I subscribe to the monthly pen and stationery set box, so that's what I'm gonna be unboxing today. So before we get into the unboxing, I have to tell you about the candle scent that I am enjoying today. It's the Sea Salt and Citrus Candle from Red Leaf Home. It's a coconut and beeswax blend with essential oils. And I picked this up from Home Goods. They have a very nice array of candles, guys. And this one smells amazing. And it is perfect for your workspace. Highly recommend. Okay, so let's just jump right into the unboxing. This is the February subscription box. There is luxury and simplicity. That is their tagline. And I subscribe to the Pinspiration and Planning Stationery box. And the pins always come on top. That's what's in this little pouch here. I'm gonna set those to the side. I always open those last. So set those to the side and I'm gonna take all the rest of this out. And this is why the box was so heavy and big because there is a notebook in here. Oh, I love this. Can't wait to jump into this. But first, let's get rid of all of this extra stuff, get this box out of the way. And let's just start with the biggest item in the box, all right? Here's a, here's a notebook. And oh my gosh, I love notebooks for note taking, guys. I run through so many notebooks in a year. Okay, so this is the weekly time block notebook. It's 104 pages, the color is fawn, and the size is 9.25 uh, by 10 and a half inches. Organize your schedule in, in style with the weekly time block notebook consisting of daily columns and graph time intervals. This planner provides a visual framework for easy time delegation and monitoring. And the cover feels so soft and luxurious. It really does feel amazing in my hands. Okay, so there's a weekly schedule column here, Monday through Sunday, and a place to write the date. And um, you have an hour, you have the hour blocks from 5 a.m. through 11 p.m. Oh, you can plan your entire day on this, okay? And it's perforated here, so you can rip these pages out. This is really nice to stay organized. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for time blocking because I use my, um, my planner daily inserts for that, but um, I can definitely use this just for notes or who knows what kind of creative ways I can incorporate this into my planning and um, project management. Okay, good deal. 
and we have the April pop-up calendar. Uh, we've gotten one of these every month in 2023. Love these. I get a lot of use out of them. I use them on my desk at home and at work. So I'm glad to see another one of these in the box. And, um, okay, so we have some sticky notes. Okay, so these are, this is the time block uh, sticky notes in Aspen. So it has time block, a place for the uh, date at the top. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it has time block, a place for the date at the top, and then you have AM and PM. So AM goes from 5 AM to noon, and then PM goes from 1 PM to 8 PM. Cloth and paper at the bottom. 50 sheets, and these are matte, and they're three by three. And I love note, um, sticky notes. So I am using, you can see I'm using the um, the sticky note holder that we got in a previous sub box and I just stick all of my favorite uh, sticky notes in here and keep them on my desk. So I get a lot of use out of these sticky notes so I can never get too many of these. Okay. Then we have a pouch that has a lot of goodies in it. Okay, so let me open this first. Okay, so the priorities notepad, as you get pulled in different directions, temper the chaos with thy priorities notepad, streamline your workflow and list things in order of importance, get the essentials done first and let the momentum cascade down to other tasks. Okay. So we're just getting organized today. Okay, time block stickers in Lagoon. And it's one of four, you get 16 stickers. So, okay, so there, there's a whole set here. Okay, cloth and paper. <laughs> do what you do. Okay. Here we go, fun and ash. So Time Block Stickers Volume 1. Use the brand new Time Block Stickers in our colors, Lagoon, Makonos, Fawn, and Ash. In the weekly Time Block Notebook for inkless time blocking and utmost organization on the daily. Okay. All right, next we have the Mind Mapping Insert. Okay, mind mapping insert. Visualize your ideas with our mind mapping insert. Write your topic in the central circle and make connections to find clarity. From this compass, a dot grid provides an unobtrusive space to link different concepts. A line column allows you to take down notes so you can collect your thoughts under the reflection section. All right. So in the back is a, uh, a sample sheet that uh, gives you an idea of how to use these inserts. So you have your summary, a place for the date, you have your key. So this one says schedule and finances, for example, and uh, research. And then on the back um, is the, an idea of how to use these. So 2023 planner set up. So you got your finances, your schedule, your stocks, and your notes. Okay, nice. I like this. All right, next it looks like we have a dashboard. When your vision is clear, strategy is easy. All right. Okay, so this is a double dashboard set. I love when we get dashboards in the sub box because it's just a really neat way to decorate your planner and just give it some personality. And I love when I get a twofer. Oh. So this is a nice vellum sheet here. When your vision is clear, strategy is easy. And you pair it with this or you layer it over this really nice a uh, dark, deep dashboard that's made out of um, 
a stiffer card stock. But the material really feels high end, guys. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the Clear Strategy Dashboard Duo. Keep your vision alive with a soft and simple Clear Strategy Dashboard. This vellum dual dashboard is a reminder that only clear visions reveal strategies of ease with strong outcomes. Very nice. I would definitely be putting that in my planner. And next we have... All right, so this is the Diagonal Pocket Folder Set. Maintain your planner clean and organized with the Diagonal Pocket Folder Set. This set includes six pocket folders, giving the versatility to be used as a money envelope system to store stickers, loose papers, and more. Now, I definitely needed these because I don't really have a good place in my planner to keep all of the stickers that I use on a regular basis. So this is nice that I didn't have to buy these separately. And uh, you get six and it's a really nice sturdy material. It doesn't say what they're made of but it's like a plastic and it's durable enough to uh, that it won't rip as you're uh, using it and getting your stickers in and out. So like for example, if I wanted to put um, some of my sticky notes, right? I don't have a good place to put my sticky notes in my planner. And then of course, um, if I wanted to just store some of my stickers, see, that's nice. It's large enough to fit several sets of stickers so you can color code and then you can have um, one or two nice sticky notes in here too. Very nice. All right, guys, and then we get some journaling cards. Um, you always get nice journaling cards in every set box. So this one says uh, a place for everything and everything in its place. Man, this is the motto of my house. Oh my gosh. One of my pet peeves is going into the refrigerator or going into a cabinet and having to move something out of the way to get to the item that I am trying to um, use. And so I like to have a place for everything. So this one is the motto of my life. And Truly, to be honest, guys, it keeps me sane. It just, you know, a clutter-free home lends to a clutter-free mind. So I love that journaling card. Um, this is the small pleasures of life. Okay. Small pleasures journaling card. And then we always get this uh, little mini cow here, this undated mini cow with a place to write the month at the top, a mini cow, and then important dates. I haven't used these yet, but we'll see. I am saving them for future reference. Create space. When we intentionally create space in our lives, we can intentionally decide what to fill it with. Uh, and this is from, it looks like Kate. Flanders. That reminds me of a quote from um, Steve Harvey. I don't know if it was a quote, but he said, um, you have to make room in your house for the things that you want. So if you want more clothes, you have to make room in your closet for more clothes. So you have to get rid of the clothes you're not using or the junk that you're not using to prepare your space to receive your blessing. So that's what that reminds me of, create space. This month, we're focusing on organization. Choose an area in your life that needs decluttering and write some ways you can manage this space. I love that message. And this is great. This is a great uh, message for spring cleaning. So I'm going to keep that handy for that. And then my pen test sheet. Okay. All right. So let's see what pens I got. I'm still looking for a really nice gel pen for my transparent sticky notes. And I do have a couple pens that will write on my sticky notes, um, but 
I need one that doesn't um, smear. All right, so I always get five pans in uh, each sub box. And this one is the Very Pearl Shans 0.5. And this one feels amazing, guys. It is so freaking smooth. Oh, I love this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, and this one is the Cozy. This is the Cozy Fine 0.5. That one feels good too. It, it's not as soft and smooth as the Very Perry, but um, I like this one. Okay, so this is the Shans uh, Very Perry. Oh, this is a highlighter. Oh, that's nice. It's a fine, and let me see if I can get a thicker. Nice, I love this color, guys. Purple is one of my favorite colors. All right, so this is a clicker highlighter. This is neat, I like that, I like that. And then let me try this other, this one is a highlighter too. Half sugar highlighter, all right. All right, half sugar. Oh, that's nice. I love these two colors together. So this is like a soft, periwinkle and you can do a fine line or a thick line and you can do that with both. I like that. And this one is not a clicker. So you have, definitely have to use the cap on that one. And then this last pan is the Shans Black 0 0.5. Okay, so this one is really fine. Definitely not my favorite. It's not smooth at all. So that one, um, probably my least favorite out of the five. So this one is my favorite. And then maybe the cozy. And then we got two highlighters and um, my last pen. Perfect. So an overview of all the goodies that came in the cloth and paper February sub box. It says, thank you for subscribing to our February planning and stationery box. We hope you enjoy this collection of our newest designs, stylishly created for you and your planning routines. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the cloth and paper sub boxes so far. I'm definitely considering doing a video uh, letting you guys know um, what I'm using the most out of the sub boxes and what I'm finding I don't get as much use out of. If you want to see that video, leave me some comments below. But anyway, guys, um, that's going to do it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.